our last okay. category for our review of 2012. Um, I sort of took the helm on this one, even though I'm sure you would have done an amazing job choosing your three favorite songs, but let's see. So my three favorite songs were Cough Syrup by Young the Giant, um, Home by Philip Phillips, and uh, the third one was Domino by Jesse J. All terrific songs. I really, I really liked your choices. Um, well, I'm, part of my decision with choosing the things that I did is I wanted to have a cross network of songs. Like typically I listen to Top 40 and R&B stations heavily and there were lots and lots of great singles. I mean I was addicted to One More Night by Maroon 5 and Adele yeah, had an amazing song. year and, and I mean there were just, I, I thought Rihanna had some consistently good hits. You know she released, she's always releasing a ton. Katy Perry had even more hits. You know so there was lots of good music out yeah. there. Um, but you know, these were the three songs that sort of stood out for me for various different reasons. Um, so let's start with Cough Syrup by Young the Giant. So, excellent song. Excellent song. I mean, seriously, I was sitting at work one day after school. It was thumbing through the wall of the teacher next door. And I'm like, what is that song? And, and the guy next door, I love him to death, but he's a talker. And I knew if I went over <laughs> to ask him what the song was, that I would be so distracted from my work that it would be like a half an hour diversion. And I finally I was like, I gotta, I gotta know who sings this song, and so I went and asked him, and he was playing the whole album, and I, you know, was able to get listen to even more of the album initially, and I, I really liked it. Surprised to find out that it was actually released in 2010, Young the Giant, the debut album with the same name, um, and this was one of two singles they released from it. Like I, they're an indie group from Southern California, like, and the the song is about, I mean, it's not the happiest upbeat sort of tune, but it's about you know, like dealing with things, and and I was reading on Wikipedia that the author, I mean, the songwriter and lead singer, was saying that, um, you know, they sort of had lived fairly privileged lives in Southern California, and there's this idea that you know you want more meaning to something, like uh, things can get dull and repetitious and all of those things. And, and what I liked about cough syrup is that we can find oppression anywhere, or we can feel as though we don't have the sense of freedom, and that we're dealing with something difficult, and. But although the song has sort of like this deeper meaning, there's just, it still has an easy groove and beat to it that yeah. makes it pleasurable to listen to as well as a song. What is your feelings about it? Um, I actually heard it the first time on an episode of Glee where Blaine is singing it, I think singing it to Kurt, and it like, it hit me in the face. Like I, I had never heard it before. And immediately I was like, what is this song? Because generally speaking, Glee, plays a lot of stuff that you already know, things that are established hits, and, right. and I had never heard Cossar before, and immediately I was just struck by how, like I said, with such an easy flow to the music, that the lyrics were deeper than you thought they were. Yeah. That as you listen to it, you're like, wow, there's there's real meaning and depth behind these lyrics. And I went and, and I looked at it, and I looked it up, and I found that the original uh, artist was Young the Giant, and I, and I played the original version of it, and I liked it even more, which actually happens a lot of times in the reverse for me with Glee, I think, I think Glee sometimes makes things a little bit poppier and more to my personal tastes right. than the original artists do. But I've, I found the Young the Giant does a brilliant, brilliant job of, of having something that's kind of layered and nuanced and really yeah. interesting, but super easy to listen to. Right. And, you know, I heard it one time and I picked up enough of the lyrics that the next time I heard it, I was singing. Yeah. And the next time after that, it, and I was just, it really, like, I... I compared to like putting on like a really well broken in pair of jeans. Right. Like you're, you're amazed at how well it fits and you're kind of just like, wow, have I not known this song my whole life? Like it really kind of felt like that type of song. I really liked it. Yeah, it's a great song. And although it didn't, it wasn't released in 2012, it yeah. was, well, that's you know, came on our radar. So yeah, it's a great song. <laughs>